The EU is sucking every country dry. The bureaucrats are exempt from taxes. Look it up. They are robbing everything, attacking the family, bringing in Agenda 21 environmental tyranny, total NSA style spying, tracker chips in all the cars. Europe is a nightmare situation. People are running from the EU trying to get out. Most of the nations never voted to join it like the UK. I have members of the UK Parliament on. I have members of the EU Parliament all the time. It is a nightmare. Even the elected groups can't vote to get out of it. And you've got this low moral high ground criminal new Soviet trying to take Eastern Europe over to suck them dry. The banksters openly want to suck Ukraine dry. The breadbasket of, of not just Russia, but Europe, to a great extent, with wheat and other uh, staple production crops. And you've got all this going on. In the last five years, there's been all these attempts to overthrow the Russian government by the West and George Soros. And they're picking a fight with the Russian bear, folks, that isn't perfect. But compared to George Soros, the Nazi collaborator, I mean, Putin was a Nazi collaborator when he was 15 years old. And said he was proud of it, basically, like George Soros did on 60 Minutes, that he had no problem with what he did. So, you know, I, I just George Soros is trying to overthrow the Second Amendment and free speech here and trying to do it in Russia. And I mean, I'm sick of him. I mean, haven't you had enough time on the planet? Haven't you done enough evil, Soros? I mean, is there no end to what you're up to? But I don't want to get off into some jag about George Soros. I just want to vomit. I want to vomit at his activities. I mean, he funds millions of dollars to groups like Media Matters run by the White House that openly call for free speech to be shut down and say my show is evil and I'm calling for violence and all these lies. They're connected into groups like Raw Story. Look at this headline. Tucker Carlson and Alex Jones, who was in the studio with us Friday for an hour, Democratic Party, now the KKK, but with minorities. Well, the KKK was race politics, and the Democrats ran the KKK till the 60s, and Eisenhower passed the Civil Rights Act, and the Republicans did it. They were the anti-slavery party, folks. And so the Democrats flipped into race politics with minorities. And what we said is, for anybody who's informed, it's total truth. I'm not saying Republicans are perfect, and I said that. They edited it up, and the, the great part is the first line is, Fox News host Tucker Carlson appeared on right-wing conspiracy enthusiast Alex Jones' internet-only radio show on Friday. This Sunday shows on over 90 stations on record, some big, some small, all across the country, 590 AM, formerly owned by President Lyndon Johnson, one of the top stations in the state. I'm broadcasting right here from my own studios in South Austin. We're on that station. We're on in Chicago. We're on into New York City. We're on into Los Angeles. I say into Los Angeles, we're on a station right outside L.A. Uh, we're on all over Oregon. We're, I mean, we're on over 160 stations weekdays, 80, 90 stations. It varies on the, on the Sunday show. We're on in Knoxville, Tennessee. We're on, I mean, it's on record. I mean, the 100,000 watt FM. And then another station, AM in Knoxville, WBCR. I could just keep listing and neurotically. I know 10 stations in Oklahoma, eight stations in Arkansas, uh, Kansas. Uh, we're on... Kansas City, uh, St. Louis, I, I just, I, I, AMF, but that's not even, I mean, that's a big part of our audience. I started out on 98.9 here in Austin. It's not talk anymore. It's music. Started out there. Station didn't have a lot of ratings. I had great ratings. That's where I got launched into syndication. I went on a station with not didn't have any ratings. I had better ratings than Howard Stern did on the local station. And he had decent ratings for that station. The other station shows didn't have any ratings. My, his Howard Stern and my show at night, I was on on the weekend, 22 years old. Man, you got some ratings here. We're going to be a weeknight show. Well, you're doing good in the ratings there again, boy. I mean, I've been on AM and FM radio since 1996. I'm on, I'm in the top 25 in Talkers Magazine of terrestrial radio. I have a million visitors to InfoWars.com every day, 300,000 to PrisonPlanet.com, millions to MySpace. Back when that was big, a day. Millions to our Facebooks today. Huge, everywhere. Just I can't even aggregate my audience. It's so huge. <coughs> but they want to control reality and say, it's basically like saying no one put gasoline in their cars today. Let me read this. Tucker Carlson and Alex Jones are absolutely exposing the fact that the Democratic Party was run and founded by the Ku Klux Klan, basically. 
uh, in the modern age and fought against the Republicans in Lincoln and has been the party of slavery and division all along and demographically couldn't win anymore. I mean, that should be the headline, but instead it's Tucker Carlson and Alex Jones, Democratic Party, now the KKK, but with minorities. Fox News host, Tucker, why not say he's internet only? Internet only, Tucker Carlson. Internet only is the Daily Caller, like dominating, you know, as big as the New York Times online. Been around four years. I, I mean, how do you like that, morons? The Drudge Report, on record, international studies, the New York Times admits, has more traffic and sets news headlines better than Twitter, Facebook, the New York Times, and the Washington Post confirmed. Why not just say Drudge is internet only? <laughs> Drudge, you're internet only. <laughs> I mean, these are like 70-pound eight-year-olds nine-year-olds outside of a heavyweight boxing match or a UFC championship in Las Vegas saying, those guys are wimps in there, we could kick their butts. I mean, this is all these little, and the only reason I mention this because they're pathetic and small is to show how pathetic they are. Piers Morgan, 380,000 viewers, a local radio show has more than that sometimes, you know, on a big station, more. Th these people are literally living in their own minds. My show and every metric exploding. Their websites, their news sites, imploding. Alternative media is the new dominant media. We're rising, they're imploding. And what is their sniveling, lying response? As you listen to me on AM and FM stations from Needles, California to Knoxville, Tennessee. Stations in Buffalo and Rochester and towns outside Manhattan going into Manhattan and, and stations uh, beaming into Los Angeles and stations beaming all over Texas and in West Texas, East Texas, South Texas, Central Texas, uh, AM and M affiliates, uh, Tampa, Florida, just uh, back on the air uh, where we were number one for a while and the stations changed hands and back, back on in well, where's Disney World I visited, the big Orlando, uh, boom, eight. 80 or whatever, the big talker. I'm just dominating. I am not on AM and FM. You heard them. The Democrats said it. I am not even, in fact, I don't even have any listeners, folks. In fact, I don't even exist. Do you understand that? Matt Drudge doesn't have 10, 15 million viewers a day, readers, and can set the news agenda 10 times bigger than the New York Times ever could. No, no, he has nobody. Infowars.com, nobody. And I'm on no AMMs, no FMs, nothing, nobody. I don't have films. I didn't produce the number one downloaded film in history with over 180 million downloads now and views, uh, loose change. I didn't produce films seen 50 million times, 40 million times, 20 million times. I haven't sold millions of DVDs. I don't, I, have, I am nobody. I am nothing. Raw story, nobody organization said so, and they control reality. Global warming's. Real and gonna kill you if you don't pay Al Gore. They're right. Carbon taxes are good. Ban all the guns, it makes us safe. You can keep your doctor, Obama tells the truth. There's no NSA spying. Nothing's a lie, nothing's the fraud. Listen, the Democrats are not connected to the KKK. They're not race baiters. You're right, I have no audience. I'm on no stations. There's no second hour coming up. That's a lie too, because I'm on no stations. It's all a lie. You're right, you're God. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139.
Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139.